for King and Country, turn the world British. We'll have the Huron eating Scotch finger biscuits and drinking tea by the end of the afternoon. If so, God, it kills us. Oh yes, and welcome to Empire Total War, ladies and gentlemen. And we're about to get underway, and this battle is inspired, of course, by the movie The Last of the Mohicans. And the year is 1757, ladies and gentlemen. And the British and the American colonists have just been destroyed at Fort William Henry there as we march our way over to the next British outpost, uh, trying to sort of recreate somewhat of the battles of, uh, of the best battle in the movie, The Last of the Mohicans, as the Huron raiding party have come to meet us and have a look at them there. The Hurons are just waiting on the outskirts here. Hopefully they're going to be just like the movie, take up a position uh, on either side of these bushes over here and, of course, destroy us as the, uh, the British we walk through. Uh, this uh, this little through road here, but it appears that the Huron are going to meet us on the way here And we're gonna be taking off our line infantry uh, And I believe we've got some cold stream guards lying around somewhere I think we should probably take the cold stream guards up the little ridge here Absolutely, and uh, we've got the uh, the colonists who were controlled by the AI there. They're heading up this way they, They've got their own battle to take care of against the Hurons raiding party but just have a look at that mountains this is. We are supposedly in, um, I think, the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina. That's what we're going for here. But let's go there, man. What have we got? We've got the big line infantry here. Straight up the guts here, ladies and gentlemen. And we are going to fight the Huron, who are going to meet us. They are taking up position, of course, in the shrubbery, in the, um, in the forest here. Hopefully, they're going to take down, and hopefully, Darth Mod's Last of the Mohican soundtrack kicks in as we play and let's just go there. We've got all these, uh, we've got all these fellas here. We're going to be walking up this end, of course, and we're going to be taking on the Hurons. Hopefully, we can do a lot better than what the British did against the Huron raiding party in the movie Last of the Mohicans, where they got absolutely decimated. But nevertheless, Daniel Day Lewis comes, he takes out about four guys as he saves his woman. That's how we're doing it. But these brave British soldiers are going to be walking up there. Uh, maybe we can get them some sort of uh, increase the files. But nevertheless, we're going to get them to walk. Whoa, what's going on there? I will just take that off as we're going to follow them over there. Oh, yes. Here we go. That's right. Where are they going? This is The AI is absolutely, absolutely shocking. Oh, hang on. Here we, here we go. This might be you. This might be a way, this is what we kind of want. We want them to be walking, of course, that way. What is going on? Oh my goodness gracious, just take a look at these line infantry. They're doing all sorts of nonsense over there. Let's get them walking up there. Now, where are these Hurons? As we can see, they're waiting over there in the bushes. We want them to attack us, of course. Uh, and we've got the cavalry there. They're going inside the bushes. All right, let's get them out on the outskirts as well. What are the uh, the British line infantry doing over there? They're going to go up this end. Oh, and they might even meet the Huron cavalry here that are going on there. Maybe we can get them to make one nice big giant line infantry across there. That's, I think, what we might even do that. Let's just get them across. But we want to see what's going over here as the Hurons are about to descend upon our British line infantry here. Come on, man. Let's walk up just like in the movie. That's it. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. Here we go. We've got the two regiments. They're walking in there. They're looking nice. All right, here we go. What is going on? The Huron are waiting. Their raiding parties are waiting over there. I believe they've shot across us. We're going to get these guys. Who are these? They are the general's bodyguard. We don't want to send them in too quickly, too soon. We, don't, we certainly don't want our general... Uh, having, you, uh, having a bit of a uh, problem there. But as we can see, we've hopefully we've spotted... Okay, so these Hurons are going in there. Maybe we can... Uh, we, let's go send in the cavalry against these Huron soldiers there. This isn't going to be, be a repeat of any last Mohicans movie there, my friends. The Huron are going to be crushed in a sea of red coats. Let's just take them, take them out. Get into them, boys, for, for king and country here. Come on, King George. Run them down. That's right. You are not so tough without hiding in the bushes there. Tomahawks at the ready. Oh, yes, sir. And we shall send in 
another infantry unit in there. Put a little bit of musket volley down there to back up them. There we go. And what is going on here? Are the Hurons going to be uh, fighting us? It doesn't look as if. Okay, so we got a good... Oh, we might even have a little bit of a uh, bit of a skirmish down here as we take on the Hurons. Can we please just get some musket volleys down at their cavalry units? That is what we do. Men, <clears throat> let's go. Musket volleys are ready. You know what? Let's just charge them. They don't seem to be... Uh, and it seems that Empire Total War is just frozen in there. Let's go. Charge them. That's it. Come on, men. Get those Hurons off their horses and we can join the rest of the regiment. Okay, so we got over here what's going on. We can get the, a, a little bit of a line infantry going over here. We're going to be popping these guys off, of course. The Huron aren't going to be having it. How are our American... Uh, how are our Team America going? Okay, they seem to be doing them things. They're fighting over on this flank over here. So we're going to be taking over. We've got three big fronts here. We've got the Hurons who are descending upon the uh, the ranks here. But the musket volleys are out. Who have we got? we got the line infantry. This guy appears they might be sending their way over there. All right, come on, come on. Re reload, men. Reload. Let's get those musket volleys down there. Let's shoot the shit out of... The, uh, the Huron, the Huron, uh, Wyandotte, I, I, I don't know the, uh, the correct pronunciation. That's it, that's the way. Get the reloads over there and pop off another couple. Here we go, man. We've got another line infantry going over there. Where are, okay, so we got there. We need to pop off a couple of rounds. I would suggest we get them on there. Yes, sir. Come on. That's the, that's the way we look in there. We're going to get three ranks. Beautiful indeed, and we are going to fire down at the Hurons as they come running across the battlefield. But they, we've got the muskets at the ready. Boom, just pop them down. I don't know if we took any out there. How are we going over on the uh, the right flank over here? We seem to be doing all right. We've got a nice, big, big long line infantry over there. We've got a regiment over there who's sitting idle. Who are they fighting against? I, took, I deliberately took in absolutely zero. Oh, yes. Let's get them over there. The general's bodyguard are going to run down this cavalry unit. Come on, men. Let's get the bayonets at the ready and stick the Huron War Party in there. We don't want anything going on there. This is for King George for crown and country. Get out of the woods. That's it. Run them down. Right, sir. That's it. Britain's policy is to make the world England, my friends. And whether you like it or not, that is what is going to happen on your lands. Come on, men. Sabres at the ready. This is the Age of Empire, of course. The Age of well-dressed soldiers fighting to expand their empires. This is what it's all about. What's going on over here? Oh, and it's on. That's right. The Redcoats against the Huron War Parties. It's Bayonet against Tomahawk. Who's going to win? It's going to be bayonets for sure as we stab. That's right. These raiders down. That's exactly right. The line infantry are too much for them. And once we get through these guys, my God, they're, uh, they're attacking us from the rear as well. Let's go. And it's a one on two here. Come on, we got the bayonets of the ready. Let's stab the shit out of these Hurons. Bang. That's it. And give him one, one for measure as he makes a nice... Dramatic death here, and just as we had feared before, our noble general is taking a bit of a fall. Oh my god, and the cavalry is going at us. Come on, men. Oh, and they've just run us down. The Hurons are crushing us, but that is okay because we are going to send in two. Oh, hang on, who have we got here? We've got one regiment of horse who might even come in and give. Give our line infantry a bit of a hand here, but it might be a little bit too little too late. Come on. Stab them off their horses. Stab their horses. Let's go. There'll be none of this. That's it. We've got one of them stuck here. Just in between the ranks. Can we just stab at them, please, chaps? They look like they're going to be uh, taking a stab. They're turning around. They're going for another charge. Oh, and our cavalry's here. Yeah, baby. That is how we do it. Let's go. That's right, Claymores. We've got Sabres at the ready. That's right. Never bring a Tomahawk to a Claymore fight, my friend. Look at this, Joe. He is absolutely amazingly dressed there against the bare-cheddar, tattooed Huron. Let's go. 
Strike him down with the claymore, my friend. Sabres at the ready. Hits the horse right in the face. He goes down. We've got another match going on over here. His mate goes to back him up with the wolf pound over his head. Is it going to be enough? Swing. Oh, he's managed to get a good block over there. Will it be enough? It looks like the Hurons are running away there. We may have absolutely won this little battle here as the Hurons run off into the sunset like the Indian bitches they are. That is right. King George is not impressed. Get them, chaps. For king and country. That's right. Yes, man. That's right. Take the savages down for King George. There we go. All right. That's what, That's one down. Okay, so now we're going to have to maybe... Oh, well, we've got another Huron raiding party there out the way there. Okay, so that is looking pretty good. How are we doing on this front? It appears it's all Huron over this side of the bench. My goodness, we've got one firing into that. And the, our Americans are running away, the cowards they are. This might come down to the British Redcoats as the militia men turn their tail and run scared to death. Scared to death of the, uh, of the consequences of the Huron. But let's just get our men now to... To fire away and bring up the uh, bring up the rear guard here because look, there's just way too many Huron parties over there. Let's get the cavalry. Actually, we're gonna get after bust down with two units of cavalry and let's just take down. Let's go in under the trees here, under the cover. Let's get straight into them. The British Empire, the red coats are running. The tomahawks are way too good for them. Look at them swinging down there. Expert in skirmisher warfare. The Huron raiding parties have just seen the British Redcoats a mile away through the trees. And now the British are paying dearly for it. Come on, men. Short and sharp stabs there. Do not, do not surrender to these men. Oh, my God. We've got a cavalry unit in the back there. This is going to be problems here for the Redcoats. But here we go. Where are our cavalry units? Are they coming in the rear? Oh no, they've been stopped. My goodness. All right, so what we might have to do, we're going to have to get them. Let's get them to come in. Come on, men. We don't want the Hurons to win, but they appear they're doing pretty well over here. Now we've got the cavalry is going to run down. We are going to show the Huron horse lords what a British cavalry charge looks like. Let's go, man. Sabres at the ready as we run them down. No mucking around. Oh, but how brave are the Redskins? They are brave as they like. Look at them go. That is right. Come on, men. Let's take them all out. If we can just take all these guys out, it would be absolutely fantastic. As, a, as another regiment comes in from the rear here, they're going to be helping out. Absolutely sensationally dressed. And you know what? Whilst we're watching this battle, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And if you're not enjoying yourself, leave a dislike and leave a comment. However it is, I'm a big boy and I've got thick skin, so say whatever you need to. All right, but here we go. I'll tell you who's got thick skin is the British Redcoats. I don't think that this uh, our line infantry need to be firing at these guys, but we may as well, you know, take out the... Oh, they are the artillery forces there. Let's just take them out. Bayonets at the ready. Get stuck into them, man. Let's just have a look as we've got the mountains in the background looking fantastic. And, of course, we go in a slow motion mode, which Empire Total War loves to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Red Coast. There's going to be way too many of them. Will they go for it? Oh, my goodness. Take them out. Charge them. The officer's at the front there, and he's going to... Oh, and they're going to be taking out all of them. Down go the Hurons. Can we take over these uh, to the cannons there, which would be good? Come on, men. There we go. Swinging and stabbing away and prodding. This is looking absolutely amazing. This guy's not doing a damn thing. Oh, there he goes. He's finally got his tomahawk out, but will it be enough? How many scalps are the Huron going to be collecting? I don't think it's going to be enough, though. But judging by the Americans, I mean, the American scalps have already been taken. That seems to be the British. All right, and that Huron unit is out the way. Now... Can the British, can we take over these guns? It doesn't appear to be. Let's hold what they're doing. Maybe we can bring them back into the battle. Let's get them to make their way over. Oh my God, the cavalry. We've been, we've been ambushed. 
We've been ambushed by that brave, the absolute brave Huron Warriors. They've absolutely shown what a real cavalry charges look like, but the British, maybe we caught them just in time there, but they really are in a lot of trouble. So maybe we're gonna have to bring in another unit before this unit runs away. And let's just catch these guys on the hop. Can we please, no, we don't want a cavalry charge. Oh my goodness gracious, that is not good indeed. The British have been run off there. Okay, how are we going in the middle of the battlefield here? Some Huron tribes are on the way. Okay, so we managed to do okay here. What's going on? Oh no, the Brits are on their way. They're running away. The Huron are just too much there. The French have been selling them some, some muskets by the looks of things. Those darn French here can't trust them. Right, they're on the enemy's team. They seem to be selling all. They're, first they kick us out of Fort William Henry. And now they're selling all the weaponry to the Huron. Now this is not good. How the hell are we going to get the French out of our, our, our uh, King George's American lands if uh, if the Huron are carrying modern weapons? This is going to be a bit of a problem. For, oh my goodness gracious. And he's just gone down like a sack of you know what. Now we've got the cavalry coming in. Let's go, man. Yeah, that's the way. That's the way. Our fierce red coats, but the Huron are not going to let us take the lands without a fight. There we go. Come on, men. King George's men, that's right. Over the hills and far away. Can the, this British officer over here on his horse stab at something besides the uh, besides the air there? My goodness, sometimes this Empire Total War AI gets a little funny like that. But nevertheless, this is absolutely amazing. I love this period in history. I love this period of warfare. And the British. All right, we're going to have to go a... Oh, hang on. What's going on over here? Have the British managed to kill the cavalry units? Yes, we have. That's right. Come on. Get one more musket volley off. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to. Are the Huron going to turn around and charge? If they do turn around and charge... Come on, man. Can we get these, uh, can we get these muskets firing off, please? Ah, they turn a tail and run. Let's get them out of here. Let's get... All right, let's get our reinforcements now. All right, here we go. The Huron are coming in again. Oh, my goodness. The horse warriors of the tribe of the Huron. They are absolutely fierce warriors. But we've got our slow motion moving uh, infantrymen. The Coldstream Guards, our lead infantry... And they've got the bayonets at the ready and they're popping them down. That's right. When all else fails, you send in the cold stream guards to deal with any threat. Especially this one up on the ridge over here. Do we want to bay let's bayonet charge them? Why not? Oh my goodness gracious. They might have the rifles, but have they got the training of that British cold stream guards? He's fallen over for some reason. I don't know what's happened there. Alright, come on, cold stream guards. Let's run at them. Come on. Run them down. Oh my goodness. And we've got some bow and arrows coming in. And we're going to hopefully stab them with our bayonets. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on for King George. For King George's army. This is what we're doing. For king and country. Turn the world British. We'll have the Huron eating scotch finger biscuits and drinking tea by the end of the afternoon. If so, God, it kills us. Right, because that's what it's going to do. We're going to introduce you to some bad food and bad dental hygiene there, Hurons. That is right. Come on, England. That is right. That's right. You're going to be eating those scotch finger biscuits. He's just hit the deck. That is down, down for the count. Tea and biscuits there, chaps. We've got to bring it into them. Come on, cold stream guards. Come on, cold stream guards. Let's get her. This is where it's at right here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see who else we got. Let's bring in all this regiment and let's just get stuck into them. Right? No more. Absolutely no more of this, this, this business about getting whooped because the Huron look like they're whooping us. Can we get the, our general's bodyguard? Right, let's inspire the troops by running them down. Here we go. Come on, Empire Total War. Can you just speed up? Speed up the troops running into them. Here we go. That's here we go. The Huron are fighting very, very bravely indeed. But are they going to be enough to fight that cold street? Oh my goodness gracious. We spoke too soon. 
The Hurons are there. Tomahawks are the ready. We've got a British officer on here. He's trying to inspire the troops there now. Poke and prod and give it all you got. What do we got over here? Okay. You know what? If we're going for the hand-to-hand -hand combat, let's go in for the hand-to-hand -hand combat. As one Huron uh, parties get sent away there, the Coldstream Guards are about to send in the reinforcements of a lifetime. The Coldstream Guards are not mucking around. And we got some light infantry there. And we got our British flags raised high with pride for King George's army, ladies and gentlemen. This is for all the marbles indeed. Here we go. And this is gonna be our last stand. The French has whooped us out of Fort William Henry. Now the Huron allied to the French are going to be fighting us, getting them out of our lands, but we are not giving up without a fight. And there's this guy swinging that tomahawk down there. He's looking to collect some British scalps there, sell them on eBay. Who knows what on earth is going on? My goodness, it is absolute chaos here in the greatest battle between the British Redcoats and the Huron. Come on. Leave it up to the Redcoats, the Colonialists, the, uh, the Militiamen, the Americans have, have taken off. They've turned tail and run. And here we go. Let's get rolled. Excuse me. Let's get right up. Nice, close and personal. There we go. Come on, men. That's right. The best, the best dressed army in the history of the, uh, the, the Empire is right here. Redcoats at the ready. My goodness, let's have a look. It's a full-scale attack here on everyone's part. Who is, oh, no, two of our regiments are gone. Maybe we're going to need one more. Oh, and we've got one line infantry over here. Maybe we can go and shoot these guys as they leave the battlefield. All right, here we go. My goodness, this is going to be our last stand. It's up to the Coldstream Guards, ladies and gentlemen. It is up to the Coldstream Guards. Come on. Come on, Coldstream Guards and Line Infantry. That's right. Push up forward. And they're going to send in their Brave Warriors. They've got a slight high ground there. But it seems to be a sea of Redcoats. Can we all just get stuck into them, please? All right. Here we go. Swinging to the ready. They've got their French muskets. Oh, my goodness. Swinging that butt of the rifle right at the, uh, the British soldiers. Chevy Chase there. They're really giving it to him. He's hit the deck. Come on. That's it. That's what we like to see. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Oh, no. And our men are breaking ranks over here. We got this fella. What are they going to... Oh, no. And it... Are we going to be able to take them out? They look like they're on their way to get out of here. Maybe we can crush them. They've left the battlefield. Maybe we can get these guys. Maybe that. Let's uh, let's get them up in the rear there. But it just appears there's way too many units left for the. Oh my goodness gracious! Oh no, and that's it. It's it's all over, all but over here. And just like in the movie, the redcoats perish. The Redcoats perish. The scalps are going to be collected. The Huron are victorious. Quite rightly so. They are not having any of the British Redcoats taking over their land. And this is, they're going to send them packing. They collect a few scalps on the way there. In time for home in time for supper. Just like the movie. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have any Mohicans that could come in and save us there. Particularly Daniel Day-Lewis in his ilk. But what an absolute blast that battle was there. I'm just going to save that as Huron to check the replay later. Um, and if you enjoyed this battle, please leave a like, comment, and a subscribe, and do all that good stuff. And if you didn't like it, leave a dislike, comment, and subscribe. But uh, otherwise, thank you very, very much for watching, and I shall see you on the next video.